There you go. by cancer. Right, so it's a lot of us. So actually 38.4% of men and women will be diagnosed with cancer at some point in their life. So we've been told that there's no cure for cancer, but recently um, there's been this new innovative medicine called sound wave therapy or shockwave therapy, and it actually helps with cancer. My dad actually works at the Center for New Medicine in Irvine, and he was just telling me about this one day, and I was just super interested in it and wanted to learn more about it. So basically with the use of this sound wave therapy, the doctors are able to help ease the pain of patients and help the bodies kill the cancer. So today I'm gonna to be talking about what sound wave therapy is, how it works, and how it's affected people since it's been around. So first I'm gonna talk about what is sound wave therapy. So according to SIVA 2016, um, it, a shock wave is a pressure pulse that only the ears can perceive as sound. So when it's being used, like the stick right here, when it's being used on the body, it creates this shock and it's pretty loud and kind of scary for the patient. But my dad told me that it doesn't hurt the patient really at all unless you have a really, really advanced form of cancer. Um, and then also according to Mittermeier 2015, they said it's a great invas non-invasive technology because it actually has, it uses the body's own mechanisms. So basically it's not really the stick that's doing like the curing of the cancer, it's the body itself. So the, the stick right here, it's kind of waking up the body to help the body kill the cancer. So now that I've talked about what it is, I'm going to talk about how it works. So according to Chow 2003, it uses a high mechanical tension and pressure pulse from different sound waves. So when it's put on the body, um, the sound waves create this like kind of therapeutic effect, which helps the body kill the cancer. And then according to innovativemedicine.net, the first patient was actually treated in 1980 for kidney stones. So it's actually kind of funny, this machine actually isn't really used for cancer yet. It's not perfected for cancer. Um, it was officially used for uh, kidney stones or gallstones, and now it's used for helping to cure cancer. So now after talking about how it works, I'm gonna talk about how it's affected people since it's been around. So um, according to painscience.com 2018, there's actually an 80 to 85% chance that it will help, or it will improve your condition. So I think that's pretty amazing. We go from like not having a cure for cancer to an 85% chance that this could improve your condition of cancer. And according to uh, AB, or news ABC, uh, abccbn.com 2018, um, this, there's actually been pain relief experience after just one therapy session. And one therapy session is about an hour to two hours long depending on how advanced or non-advanced your cancer is. And it takes about four to six sessions for the for you to receive like the full maximum benefit that it can offer you. And there's actually been some cases in India where it's healed uh, the cancer up to 100%. So now after talking, so now today I've talked about what sound wave therapy is, how it works, and the impact on it. So um, I just think, or with the help of this sound wave therapy, um, once it's like officially perfected for cancer, it's gonna be helping millions of people worldwide. <clears throat> and it's gonna just do so much good. And if you wanna learn more about it, um, you can Google sound wave therapy or shock wave therapy for cancer, and there's just gonna be a lot of results on it. <clears throat>